Hello, this is Matthew Prewe with Liberty Plus. Today we're going to be discussing joystick diagnostics using the Note 11 or known as the Multiplex Display Screen. The menu, directional pad, and OK button are the three main control buttons for navigating the main menu. The three remaining buttons at the top are used for various features within other menus. To access the joystick diagnostic screen, you're going to need to select Menu. There will be four interactive screens, Multi-Cycle, Input-Output Status, Program Version, and Optional Items. Use the directional pad and scroll down to Input-Output Status and select OK. The Module Input-Output Status screen displays all the modules and nodes on the network. Use the directional pad and scroll down to Joysticks and select OK. Once within the joystick values screen, diagnostics can be performed. You will notice there are two joysticks on this screen regardless what is present on the unit. Within the joystick values screen, we can test several functions of the joystick. Dead man switch, gripper buttons, and all remaining auxiliary function buttons regardless if they are active or inactive within the programming. Please note, in all multiplex applications, Node 127 is always the primary joystick. In the joystick full stroke values, which is the 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, or 9 o'clock positions, you will see values of 255 or negative 255. If you use a slow progressive stroke, you can check for dead spots within the joystick. This will help you indicate if you have a defective joystick.